Welcome to Gab Talk, where we provide tools, tips, and techniques to help your life and business be easier, better, and faster. Hello, hello, how are you? Welcome to our next episode of Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts. I'm Gabriella, and I am bringing to you a really awesome guest. We had a fantastic conversation before we got started, and what an incredible background. And I absolutely love what he's bringing to the table and changing the conversation in a really positive way. Welcome to the show, Jay Razouk. How are you today? Hello, Gabriella. I'm so excited to be here, and thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm excited to have you here as well. Like I said, I love the fact that you are trying to change the way that people show up in the conversation around your background and specialty, because unfortunately, there's so much negativity out there, and you are trying to make it a lot more positive. Tell us all about your expertise. The favorite people in the world I love working with are coaches. And so I especially work with coaches, but influencers, consultants, these sorts of people, and I hook them up with all the legal documents and strategies that they didn't know they need to scale to seven figures and beyond. And we were talking about how we happen to live in the U.S., which tends to be very litigious, and you want to shift that conversation and get people into a space of love. Talk about that for a moment. Yeah, so I I was dealing with the major Fortune 100s, 500s, trying to fix them for major disputes. And I realized the litigious system we have is just broken. The only winners were the lawyers. And I, I decided that I really wanted to work with entrepreneurs help them get their businesses off to the right start and help them avoid these gigantic costly mistakes. And then I'm trying to grapple with this idea of how do I boil the law down, all our millions of, of laws and make it a simple concept, a simple principle that they can live by. And that's where I was reading a quote from Paul of Tarsus. And he said, you know, things like love against these things, there is no law. And I began to think about it. Wait, this is legal advice because when you're loving people, you are now above the law in a good way. Yeah. All the laws we have, they're trying to get people to love, to, to respect, to be kind, to do good, do right. And when you are then in your heart, you are trying to do your best. You really are respecting, loving, caring for people. You're going yeah. even beyond where the law can ever get you to. Right. And so we just, if we focus on that principle, life becomes so much simpler. And I think a lot of people are afraid of the law because we feel like you have to be a mean person. You got to be a bad person uh, to follow the law. And, and then you're just, you know, being like a robot or corporate. -y. Whereas really, if we understand the heart of the law, what it's trying to do we could come into alignment realize you can be that good person and fulfill the law at the same time absolutely so let's talk about your background and how it is that you decided to go down this path i mean it really was just sitting in um, that tower i was working at a firm and just looking out the window and feeling like i wasn't making a difference everything i was doing in court wasn't really going anywhere and just all the money being lost and i i really yearned to work with the individuals and i fell in love with them realizing how they can bring about so much change in the world. You know, the coaches are inspiring people. They are helping them overcome uh, whatever internal issues are holding them back. And if I could work with these people, if I can, you know, show them how to build better relationships, how to treat their clients better, you know, we can really bring a lot more positivity as you're talking about at the beginning uh, yeah. into this world. Let's go a little further back into your backstory and tell us about like when you were in high school and college and what drew you down the path in the first place. I definitely was struggling to find myself. There was a lot of pressure to go into medicine, but I really wanted to be creative, which sounds funny, right? Who wants to go into law to be creative? But I felt this ability to, you know, to advocate, to come up with arguments. And people always say all the time, you know, I think I'll make a good lawyer because I'm very argumentative. But that's not what argumentative as a lawyer means. It means, you know, constructing these arguments. Putting and, the puzzle pieces together. Putting the puzzle pieces. Oh, I love that. You know, trying to solve a mystery. 
Uh, and and that's what I was doing for a while was you know solving these almost like these corporate crimes and trying to figure out okay how did they do it what did they do but then I started working more with trying to fix the corporations trying to prevent these million billion dollar mistakes and realizing I just couldn't get anywhere in corporate America you know when you become so institutionalized it's hard to bring about change right and it really begins I think with entrepreneurs when they're starting off and they're trying to learn how to do business that's really the opportunity to really make a big influence absolutely I totally agree with you because once they get to a certain point you become just a small cog in the wheel and then it can become very draining whereas working with people one-on-one -on -one or in smaller groups, you have a lot more ability to create and set up the narrative so that they move down the path in a much more positive way. Exactly. That's exactly it. So let's talk about your influence, because one of the things about our audience is we want them to know that they too can reach a level of success and expertise. And we all have influences that help us make decisions to go down the path that we go down. What was really in inspired for me too was uh, there was this one attorney who was doing a presentation to talk about, you know, don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal, don't kill. And he was talking about how just all the law boils down to these simple things. And I realized in that moment that we have this real opportunity as lawyers to simplify the law for people and show them that there is an easy way to, you know, you're not necessarily going to be complying with every law, but you're really going to reduce the problems you have. Because a lot of people don't realize this. A lawyer doesn't get involved in a lawsuit really until someone's not loved. Because okay. when you're mistreating your clients, they're not going to know, oh, you violated this principle. You, you violated this section of the contract. You violated this specific law. They just know they were mistreated. It didn't feel right. Like deep down, we all really expect to be loved. And when yes. we're not getting that, that's when we go and talk to a lawyer and say, hey, help me out here. Find something wrong to pin it on that other person. I think that a lot of people, that lack of love starts completely outside of whatever it is that now triggers this feeling of a need to sue this person because this is a bigger issue. And I think that your effort to change that narrative is really something that we need more of in the world. I, and you're exactly right. Like with coaches all the time, they might have a client who comes and says, hey, I need a refund. Your program is terrible. It's not helping me. I need my money back. Let me out. Right? The reality is this person might be having cash problems. It's not you. It's not your program. And so if you love this person, you are going to get to know them. You're going to ask questions, find out what's going on, have compassion. I'm not saying you will give them the refund, but when this person feels like you care about them, that you're with them, in the struggle, in this journey, they might then realize, wait, do I really want to compromise my relationship now with my coach? Right. So if you realize this value, your value is the relationship. There's so much value in love. That is going to be great protection. Absolutely. Hello, hello, awesome listener. Thank you so much for joining us today at Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts. We're going to take a short break and say thank you to our sponsors. It is through the generous support of these sponsors that we are able to bring to you these amazing experts that are sharing their best tips for your success. So please listen to what our sponsors have to say, and hopefully they're going to inspire you that you're going to click their links and go support them. Introducing Boost by GoV, a high-end, first-in-class fuel catalyst tablet that is taking the world by storm. How would you like to save money on gas and go further on every single tank? The new MPG is here. Get more miles per gallon, boost power and performance, and reduce emissions and exhaust. What would you say if you could pay less and make fewer trips to the gas pump? It's time to wake up and get on the move. What are you waiting for? Get more out of life and join the GoV experience today. Scan the QR code or check the show notes for more information. You've all heard and you know how powerful it is to send thank you cards, notes of appreciation and gifts that build and maintain relationships. However, 
writing and sending generic impersonal greetings and gifts one by one just is so overwhelming and takes so much time. Not to mention these days, who wants to deal with lines at the post office, running out of stamps or having to print stamps yourself? And then there's the embarrassment of missing an important date altogether. Yikes. So what can you do? If you go to marketyourbizbiz.guru, you will be able to get help with your greetings and gifts that are printed, stamped, stuffed, and mailed automatically for you. Make sure that you tell them Gabriella sent you. So let's talk about advice and tips. We always start with one piece of advice for your younger self. What would you share? For any entrepreneur out there, my biggest regret was that I didn't specialize early on enough. Like I didn't niche down. I was trying to be good at everything, jack of all trades. And life got so much better once I really said, you know, I'm going to focus on serving these people to the highest degree possible. All right. So I know you have some great advice. We talked about this before we started recording. Will you share with us some advice that you think our audience can take action on right away? That's actually a great setup for tip number one, which is don't delay on taking care of legal. Like that, that really is the most costly legal mistake most businesses make is just kicking that can down the road. And the problem is problems get bigger and bigger and more expensive to fix the yeah. longer you wait. And here's another thing. Lawyers also get more expensive every year. They raise the rates by about three to 7% every year. And also, I think this is where lawyers really need to think differently. Get you thinking in terms of building better relationships. We should look at lawyers as the architects of relationships. And we get excited when we want to, you know, plan a new home. You meet with the architect, I want a, a room for this. I want a, a giant kitchen, giant bathroom, things like that, right? We get excited. Should we get excited about when we're going to be designing our relationships and building a structure that will make sure it'll be successful for us and our clients? Yeah. I mean, the relationship between people shouldn't have to be contracted and mandated, but the reality is Without that, that's when people start struggling with each other instead of working together. So I totally think that's great advice to be proactive, right? Exactly. And and the struggle comes when there wasn't an alignment of expectations. And at its core, that's what the law is about. The law is about setting expectations. And so it's so important to make sure you're on the same page. And if you rush it to relationship, you don't plan these things ahead of time. What do you do when there's a dispute? What do you do when this problem arises or, or that one? Now you're having to, in the heat of the moment, when, when you or they are panicking or frustrated, now you're trying to figure out how are we going to resolve this? Whereas the contract gives you the opportunity to plan it ahead of time when you're both excited about the relationship. Something we didn't talk about before, but I'm sure you can talk about this. I've had a number of people in business coaching say, don't just think about your relationship with the person, but think about the other people that are impacted by that relationship and make sure that that's addressed as well. Yeah, (laughs) that's even more next level. That's very true, thinking of uh, the ripple effect. But that's another reason why I think it's so important to build the good relationships, because if you are building a great relationship with this one client, then hopefully they will bring you more clients and and will also be a repeat client. Like it really pays off to invest in building these good relationships. And, And here's the thing that surprises a lot of people. People panic when there's conflict, right? We don't like it. Uh, I don't even like it, right? (laughs) But conflict really is a great opportunity to build a better relationship. Studies have shown that when you resolve that conflict in a way that is favorable, that both parties are happy about the result, the relationship becomes stronger. And so you could take an unhappy client, resolve the conflict in a way that makes them happy, and now they might end up being one of your better clients and become a major referral source. So look at these things as an opportunity. Don't panic. Don't do. Don't act out, out of fear. That's the worst thing to do. We we talk about in uh, coaching space about the abundance mindset, and usually that's in the context of okay, be willing to spend a lot of money for a coaching program. But we never talk about using the mon- abundance mindset with the way we approach resolving disputes. 
And if we did, you know, we, it, it's really going to transform the way we interact with that person. If you come to this with, how can I love this person in resolving a dispute? Surprisingly, I believe that the remedy for fear is love. Well, we talk all the time about learning from failure and not feeling like a failure, but l using it as something to have a stepping stone towards success, having a learning opportunity to know how to move forward. But I really find it interesting how you just framed that because in, in a way it's the same thing in a parallel, but we don't think about conflict resolution like we think about learning from failure. And, and I think we always have to go to relationships knowing there's going to be failures. We're all going to screw up. We're all going to mess up on our promises at times or, or say the wrong thing, whatever it's going to be. We're all going to do that. And we need to understand that and give each other a little space. And, and this is what's great about contracts that a lot of people don't understand is they could and should be flexible. Like you don't have to, and, and it's probably usually not right to hold everybody to the letter in the contract. Right. You should do your best to live up to it, but show each other, you know, compassion. kindness when they, yeah, compassion when, when they mess up. And, and when you show them compassion, when they mess up, they'll return it. Usually Absolutely. Um, we need to be so much more kind of forgiving as, as human beings in general. And it's so sad how the general conversation is gone. I completely agree with you. And I just love this conversation we've had today and that you are bringing a different kind of awareness to how people show up. On each episode of Gab Talk Success Tips from Experts, we like to highlight a hero sponsor who is a business that chooses to highlight a do-good organization in their own community that is bettering the world. Today's hero sponsor is... Hi, everyone. My name is Alan Raisman, the owner of thefunofworkingout.com. I'm a Beachbody coach, and on that website, you could try Beachbody workouts out at no cost. But today, I want to highlight a wonderful nonprofit outside of Philadelphia. Keystone Opportunity Center provides food, housing, and education to over 5,000 people a year in Montgomery and Upper Bucks County. On their website, www.keystoneopportunity.org, you can learn about the mission, hear client stories, and learn how you can volunteer and support them. Again, my name is Alan Raisman, the owner of thefunofworkingout.com. I'm a Beachbody coach, and you can go to my website where you can try Beachbody out completely free. Thank you. I feel like I've learned a whole bunch in our conversation today. I know the audience will as well. How can they find you to have a further conversation or learn about how to show up with love and compassion in their legal aspects? You can easily find me anywhere on LinkedIn and, and Facebook. I am the only Jay Razook on the planet, as far as I know. So don't worry about finding somebody else. Absolutely. And did you have a website they can visit as well? It is uh, www.proscalelegal.com. So and that's scale, where you can find like more about the it. scales of justice, proscalelegal.com. That's right. We'll get the links down below to your social media and to your website so people can click on it and reach out to you. And you have a really cool offer um, to share with uh, our audience. What's that, please? So just about every week I go live in my Facebook group and I put out amazing content, helping people know how to grow an online business, talk about relationships, affiliate agreements. I mean, you, you name it, whatever it takes to really take your business to the next level, but yeah. from a legal perspective. And this is found in business legal tips for coaches and consultants. That's the name of the group on Facebook. So we'll get the link to that group in the notes as well so that people can click on it, go join the group, get some starter advice from Jay on a weekly basis around legal issues that clearly come up consistently that you're going to want to learn more about in your business. And make sure you click the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the reminder so you know when our next episode is airing. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope you got value today. We want to give a huge shout out of gratitude to our contributors. Please make sure you click the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell up above to get reminders when we add new content.